Fight on. Well, obviously, I think we told the story how we met there and Katie like became my best friend instantly because before we were friends, one time I was talking in class because we do that. Come on, you okay. do it too. But we were in a you giant lecture room. room. Kara isn't a good whisperer. Let's just be real about it. She can't whisper very can, well. Can, she talks loud. I can whisper. <laughs> <laughs> I can't whisper either. I didn't know you. And you were like, I'm just gonna say, you were in my discussion group. You seemed cool or whatever. I was in class, like, quietly talking to somebody. And, then, and Katie, like, turned around. It's like, you're me. I'm Katie. Katie, like, turned around and was like, you were talking to I, that I really didn't like and so it wasn't really you. Obviously like a week later I asked you to get pie with me. So. That's what I thought was so strange. I was like this girl just gave me this total glare and then now she just asked me to go get pie. Anyway, Katie's sassy. <laughs> this isn't my point. She is sassy and she has no problem with like getting up in your face. Like she goes ghetto. She gets like ghetto. I'm not like an angry person. She just doesn't like to be taken wrong. advantage of or wronged. And so like one time she yelled at a cop. I was at USC and I was leaving to go to my internship in my car, put my mom on speakerphone when I'm leaving the parking garage. Speakerphone to be safe. And I press the speakerphone button and then a bike cop comes up next to me and bangs on my window and gives me a ticket for touching my phone even though I said I'm doing it to be hands free. He said, you touched your phone while you're, while you're in your car. And I was like, okay, great. So I accepted the ticket, went to my internship. The very next day, the same exact thing happened and it was the same cop. And this time, <laughs> I rolled down my window and he was like, you did it again. And I was like, I call my mom every day on the way to my internship. There are people being stabbed on the other side of, of, That's funny. of USC. Happened because we would get texts like stabbing on the east side, avoid this side, and I was like, I am calling my mother on speakerphone. You gave me a ticket yesterday. Do you have nothing better to be doing right now? And I was just like yelling at this man, and I was like, you are targeting me. You, like, you were watching for me, blah, 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 and then he left. Katie can be scary. Like, one time, someone parked in your parking spot, and you got out, and you were no. like taking, you were like about Wait. to take out your earrings. You were like, I didn't want to get her towed. I didn't want to be that person. She parked in my spot. She maybe didn't know it was my spot. Like, I pay for that spot. So I didn't want to get her towed, called a cell phone number, got her down, and I thought she'd be like, oh, thank you so much for not towing my car, doing anything. I was just sat waiting. No, this girl came out aggressive. She came out swearing at me. She came out coming up to my face. And I was like, like oh, bitch, please. Like, let's not. Also, when we were at USC together, Katie and I were in this play. And I played this the lead part of this stripper. Kara was the mom trying to provide money for her child stripper, and I was the I've been doing this forever, you need to learn something stripper. Okay, so there was this girl that auditioned for Kara's part, and she was super obviously jealous when Kara got the part instead, and then this girl became like an extra stripper in the back with no lines. One day we were doing rehearsal and Kara wasn't in the room, and I heard her telling all the other like posse of strippers, like talking shit about Kara and like like, does she know her lines yet? And like, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, they're talking shit about my girl? <laughs> right in front of my face. <laughs> so I went over and was oh like, hey, so-and-so, if you have something to say, you can go ahead and just tell it to everyone. And I'd love to tell Kara, or Kara should come in the room if you have something to say to her, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, she really deserved the part, because I don't know who else would have gotten it, because no one else really deserves it. Like, I, it was a very sassy moment. But from that time on, she hated me. I don't, whatever, she was talking oh. shit about Kara behind her back. I have a funny story about this though. From this play, Katie, <laughs> and from this play, had all these photos being a stripper. Oh, we all had photos yeah, we from had, like pole dancing class. We had class. a pole dancing class because we were pole dancing for this play at USC. Oh my God, And I, Kara. Katie and I had this, have this thing where we hack each other's Facebook. And so one day I was like, this is a good one. And I posted, a photo of Katie like twirling around the pole in stripper and attire. tagged me. Tagged her at a strip club and said, because Katie would always post about like having all these jobs and how hard it was and all that. So I was like, like hashtag two jobs, yeah. hashtag always working, and then. And I was like, you guys, you know, like two jobs wasn't enough, so like now I've picked up another job. Uh, I only got the Mondays and Wednesdays shift, but like hopefully I'll get a Friday soon. 
come say hi when you can. And I tagged her in at the strip club. And, and then she posted a picture of me. And I got a text from this girl that, that I work with. And she was like, hey girl, want to grab coffee this week? I'm like a little worried about you. I really don't think, I really don't think you needed to turn to dancing. And then, and then I was like, what do you mean dancing? And she's like, you just posted about your new job. And then I looked at my Facebook and I was like, damn it, Kara. And then my family saw that too. Anyways. Anyway, I thought it was great. Yeah. Okay, sign it out. out. Untie the bow. And that's the way you do it. It's my tits in a bow. Your tits in a bow. My tits in a bow, babe. It's my tits in a bow.